Hi, this is Janine Ferrara from Douglas Elliman on Long Island and in Manhattan. On today's edition of Sell and Dwell, your guide to buying, selling, and staging your home, we're going to be talking about curb appeal, how important it is, and how to kick yours up a notch. If you plan on selling your home, you probably know that curb appeal is important. But did you know that 99% of realtors recommend upgrading your curb appeal before listing? And that investing in upgrades for your yard and the exterior of your home can get you a return of investment starting at 150%? It makes sense. First impressions count, so it's crucial to get your curb appeal up to par for not only your online pictures, but also for drive-bys, open houses, and viewings. Here are three keys to curb appeal success. Keep it clean, make it green, create a scene. I know, I know, it's never fun to clean, especially your yard, but all those broken lawn chairs, tools, and forgotten toys have got to go. If your yard is really in bad shape, look into local junk removal services that will come to your house to retrieve your unwanted leftovers. Once the yard is clean of unnatural debris, you'll want to tackle the natural messes, such as leaves, broken branches, and dying trees. Again, this may be an area to get the assistance of a professional. The next step is to assess how clean the exterior of your home looks. Cleaning the exterior of your house can add ten dollars to $15,000 onto the sale price of your home. If your siding has a few rough spots of dirt, you can clean it yourself with a long-handled brush and a bucket of soapy water or a mixture of water and trisodium phosphate. But for larger jobs, a power washer is the way to go. You can either rent one or hire someone to pressure wash not only the exterior of your home, but also your fences, garage doors, walkways, porches, and decks as well. You're also going to want to clean your windows both inside and out thoroughly. Your roof is an essential selling point, so it's worthwhile to repair or replace missing, curled, or faded shingles and hire a professional to clean off the dirt and moss. If your roof is older than 25 years, inspectors and appraisers will share this info with the buyer, which will likely drive the price down. So if you have the time and money, investing in replacing your roof before putting it on the market can yield you 109% return on investment. Overall landscape upgrades are critically important for your curb appeal, and any realtor worth their salt will tell you that it's definitely an important place to invest before putting your house on the market. Standard lawn care, which would include six applications of fertilizer and weed control, will give you the biggest bang for your buck with an ROI of 303%. If your lawn is in poor shape, you're going to want to consider seeding it and getting a 417% return on investment, or putting down sod for a 143% return on investment. A softscape landscape upgrade that would include five trees, 25 shrubs, 60 perennials, and natural edging boulder accents will give you 100% return on your investment. You can also add greenery to your home in the form of window boxes and planters at the entry or front deck. A good rule of thumb is to keep the florals simple and make sure your placement is symmetrical. The third key is to create a scene or a story. You'll want to give a sense of personality to your home and convey to buyers the potential lifestyle they could lead in your home. A simple change, such as a bold door color, can add instant panache and appeal. When selecting that bold color, stick to those included in the historical collections from Benjamin Moore or Sherwin-Williams. Even their boldest colors are a little bit subdued and blend into natural environments more seamlessly. This rule should also apply to painting shutters, which is truly an easy fix. Most shutters are plastic or wood and can be instantly updated using an exterior spray paint. Simply unscrew the shutters and spray and then reinstall. The entire project takes just a few hours and for less than 50 bucks, you can give your house an exciting pop of color. If you have a porch or front deck, consider creating a seating vignette that appears cozy and welcoming. Matching outdoor chairs with clean, bright cushions, potted plants, and hanging wreaths will set a tone and make your home stand out. Additional updates could be made with a new mailbox, new and modern house number plaques, and outdoor lighting. An American flag is always a terrific addition, but make sure you're respecting the flag by featuring one that is not tattered or faded in color. As a last step, get a new welcome mat. Hopefully with all of these updates, you'll be getting a major increase in traffic, so make sure you have an absorbent mat that will keep potential buyers from tracking dirt in your house and that features a bold color or message that truly invites people inside. Again, those keys to success are keep it clean, make it green, create a scene.
I hope you found that helpful. For more guidance, go to janineferrara.element.com and sign up for my newsletter. And of course, if you want to buy or sell a home on Long Island or Manhattan, give me a call. Home, let me help you get there.